and girls. It's me again, Keisha Armstead, and I'm here to do your children's story today. Well, I have before me a newspaper. A newspaper does just what it says. It's paper full of news. What news you say? News of the world of today. Let's see what we have. Well, we have world events. What's happening in the world today? A whole lot is happening in the world today. Well, it's currently hurricane season and I do believe today was the last day of what was hurricane season. Today, on this page, it says the nation's health. Well, we do know we're having church online due to the COVID situation. And on this page, we have money and life. And because of the COVID situation, we know that because of the COVID, there's a lot of families being affected and that their finances is being affected as well due to the COVID situation. On this page, the newspaper has information pertaining to sports as well. So we can find all about What's going on with people's favorite sports team? And there was a fight that happened over the weekend. We have any Tyson fans out there? <laughs> also, we do know that if you have your local newspaper, I know when I was a kid and my mom got the newspaper, I used to try to hurry up and look through her newspaper and find what we used to call was the funny papers. I do believe it's called the comics. So if you look through your paper, you could look through the comics called the funny papers. I know we. I used to look for Garfield. <laughs> well, I do know that the newspaper back in the olden days was the only means that some people could get the news. There was no other way people could get the news. There was no TV and it was before radio time and even before they even had the internet. Could you believe that? But once they did have newspaper, the newspaper companies would hire children just like you. Do you know what their job title was? Their job title was Newsies. Newspapers, children to sell the newspapers were called Newsies. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The way that the children the newsies got people to buy the newspapers was pretty interesting. The newsies would stand on the corners and get people's attentions by extra, extra, read all about it. Did that get your attention? It sure would have gotten mine. Even Ace ears perked up over there. <laughs> so people would perk up and come over and see what newsies were talking about. They wanted to see what was in the newspapers. So that's how they got people's attention to buy the newspapers. Well, that brings me to this. That brings me to the good book. 
if you get your Bibles and turn with me to Matthew chapter 28, because you see that even in the good book that never changes, Jesus Christ is still in the business of changing lives for the better in Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 and 20 reads, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. You see, Jesus wants us to go just like those newsy children was selling the newspaper and got people's attention. Jesus commands us to go to all the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ. He wants us to go and say, extra, extra, read all about it. To let everyone know the good news of Jesus Christ. You see, until every single person, man, woman, boy, and girl, hears the good news of Jesus Christ, it's until then that he shall come again. He's in the business of changing lives for the better. He's here to save you and me, man and woman, boy and girl. Isn't that wonderful? It's then that he will come again to save the likes of you and me. He loves us all and his world, his word shall never change. He loves us all. Isn't that wonderful? And we should not be afraid and should not keep it a secret. We shouldn't want to go and share his love with everyone. This is my prayer that we shall go boldly into the likes of the world, sharing his love with everyone. And I hope that you will go and pick up a newspaper. <laughs> These are so, I remember going with my mom, being excited when she go and get that thick Sunday paper so I could go through it right after she goes through it. <laughs> so that used to be a treat for us. So maybe you too could go with your mom and pick up a newspaper and even look for the comics like I used to with my mom. Have fun. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. You want to say a prayer? Bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day. Thank you for allowing us and, and trusting us to be able to go into the world sharing your good news, the news of Jesus Christ coming down to this earth to share uh, the love of Jesus Christ and the good news that he wants to come and save us and, and take us upon uh, the world so that we all may be able to be saved in the kingdom of heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>